Ricky Gervais is out for the Golden Globe. Guess who's in? Wait till they get a load of me. Now this show is for the lover in you. But how you've been going about it is all the wrong fucking way. My wife and I were having dinner with friends this past weekend and it's just sad to hear how women are just fucking playing themselves these days. So let me just break this shit down so it can be forever and ultimately be fucking broke. Failure number one, stop giving up the pussy on day fucking one. I mean, some women just don't know the power of the fucking pussy. I mean, it will drive a nigga to kill. Shit, damn, motherfucker. I mean, y'all know the fucking song. I don't have to sing that shit. And failure number two, don't give up the pussy too fucking late because ain't no nigga gonna be waiting around for your slow yellow bus ass. I mean, shoot, 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 shoot. I, I, I give up the, yeah, yeah, bitch, give up the pussy. It's been fucking six months. And remember that there's more than twice as many women than men. Pace your pussy, bitch. Pace your fucking pussy. And failure number three, you've been introducing him to your fucking sexy ass friends. I mean, just don't do that shit. What the fuck are you doing that shit for? I mean, that's like taking a fucking base head to a fucking crack house. You wouldn't do that shit. And keep that nigga out of distance. And you know who else? Keep out of fucking distance. That bitch that just likes a fucking fuck just for GP. Keep that bitch further. Because you know what? Guess what? If, if, if you don't know who it is, then it might just fucking be you. And failure number four. I mean, there's a bunch of bitches that are doing this. I don't, I, either this is your problem. Stay in your fucking lane. I mean, don't be a fucking number two trying to get a number 10, i.e. you look like fucking Whoopi Goldberg and you're trying to get a fucking Boris Kojo. I mean, let's be realistic. This shit ain't gonna happen. I mean, bitches, I know y'all want Denzel, but you might as well fucking go to hell. I mean, stay in your fucking lane. It ain't gonna happen. And failure number five. Stop taking advice from someone that is just as fucked up as you. You are. I mean, the blind fucking leading the blind. I mean, that's the stupidest shit I've ever heard. And let me give you an example. This bitch end up having an eight and a half year relationship with a fucking married man. And when the nigga decided to reconcile with his wife, the bitch put up a billboard in the middle of San Francisco, Atlanta, and Times Squares about their fucking affair. Now this bitch was a fucking overachiever. I mean, I couldn't make this up if I even tried. And you know she had one of her girlfriend bitches saying, girl, that's okay, fuck you, bitch. And your girl nigga ain't shit either. Niggas ain't shit, I mean, we're fucking assholes. Cause as soon as that fucking door closes, that same chick is blasting Keisha Cole wanting that fucking nigga to fucking save her. Please, stop falling for the fucking okie doke. And failure number six, stop fucking lying to yourself saying that you can fucking change a man. You can't change shit. Can you get that nigga to stop jacking off when you're not at home? Nope. Can you get that nigga to give you his fucking code to his fucking cell phone? Nope. Can you get that nigga to stop calling Lisa, Angela, Pamela, and Renee from a fucking round the way? Hell the fuck no. And if your nigga's nickname is Killer, well, don't be surprised if that nigga kills your dumb ass one day. Oh, no, mama, I can change him. He's gonna be good to me. And then a couple of weeks later, we find your ass on a fucking milk carton. I mean, that's your own fault. Blame your fucking self, bitch. And failure number seven, judge a nigga by what he does, not what he says he's gonna fucking do. I mean, you'll be a fucking lab rat and you can't stop spinning on that fucking wheel. You'll be that going nowhere fast, bitch. I'll tell you that. And failure number eight, the nigga has to be blissed. I mean, the nigga has to be this. He has to have that. I mean, Chili tried that shit for two seasons and she fucking failed. Now, I'll tell you this, niggas don't like to be put in a fucking box. We don't. And don't fuck a good thing up because you're trying to be the fucking man in the relationship. I see this stuff all too often. You will lose every time, women. Every fucking time. And failure number nine. Stop making things out to be something that they're fucking not. I mean, just because we fucked doesn't mean that I'm with you. It just means that you've been fucked. And, and trying to turn a fucking booty call into a fucking relationship. And I know what you're thinking. I mean, you're thinking, well, PMJ, why is he pulling away from me? It's because you fell by the wayside, bitch. You've been Brian McKnight. You gave the fucking pussy up too fast. You're back at one. And failure number 10. Learn from your mistakes to move forward in your life because you've only got one life to fucking live. And if you were expecting a fucking Oprah moment, then you're sadly mistaken. 
I, you know what, I might have to write a book about this shit. And if you failed on this test, then you could be, might be, quite possibly could be a fucking thirsty chick. Stop the madness, please. Stop the fucking madness. And remember this, think I better let it go. Looks like another love, TKO. I'll see you next week, bitches. Peace.